I feel like math was hard for me and my mom being a teacher, I think sometimes there's an expectation that you should just get it. And I remember that being a struggle for me. And so when my students come in, I always share with them, like, oh, I remember that feeling. Or did you ever feel when you're in class that you don't wanna be called on, you don't wanna raise your hand? When you're in here, ask me those questions. Let's talk about that. Show me what you know, show me what's hard, and we work through it. And I try to meet their needs at their level and then build from it. Well, the one thing I, I really want my students to get from me more than anything else is um, a sense of discipline and success to see how those two things go together. But we want all the students to know that success is possible. Uh, it may come easier for some than others, but still success is possible. And that's what we want them to know. Students have told me, Mr. Goodwin, I like the way you teach because I get it. Students don't typically just say those kinds of things if it's not true. When they give you that acknowledgement that what you're telling them, how you're telling them, that that is making a difference for them. And so when you have a student, especially in a classroom of their peers, who says, Mr. Goodwin, I appreciate that because I get it. That's what is pretty exciting to me. I push my kids to get their work done and I probably push them harder than some of the others. 99.9% .9 of the kids really try and they really want to learn. Uh, and they're the ones I get up and come in for. Uh, that one percent or one tenth of a percent, you, you gotta push them even harder, but eventually they do turn over and end up being the, being the, the, big, the majority of the kids that want to learn and want to do. They are very upset when you're not there. And, you know, it gets stressful, but it's not about us. It's not about me. It's easy to say, you know, I'm just going to do less or I'm, I'm just going to make, make it get through. But um, you have to remember those, cat, those kids' sad little faces when you're not there and, and they're tired too it made me realize I do have an impact on what they do, um, even in the future. My classroom is different. If you ask my students, they'll tell you I talk about football all the time, and that's why it's different. But I think that it's because um, obviously you have to have time for science and for yearbook when I do yearbook, but um, I try to allow time for relationship building, getting to know the kids, and letting them get to know each other, and, and building that relationship part too, because I think that's really, really important. Um, one of my favorite teachers was uh, Miss Teague. Every afternoon she read to us. That was just one of my most favorite time of the day. So every afternoon after recess, we come in and I always read uh, to the kids every afternoon because that was one of my things that I really enjoyed about school, was my teacher reading to me. What is the one thing that you want your students to remember about you? That I cared, that I cared about them, that, um, that they were important no matter what, you know, that, that morning they had, uh, the night they'd had before, um, that um, when they came to school, they know that I would care, cared about them. My classroom is student-centered. Um, I'm a firm believer in that when my students come in, that they have a name and they're empowered to be who they are. They have a place, they have a safe place. I think that in today's society, a lot of classrooms don't feel safe. And in my room, they're safe. Even to this day, I have students that are, you know, in the Army, in the Air Force, moms, dads, students, teachers, you know, and they'll come back and say, you know, I'm a teacher because of you, or I'm a teacher because you meant something to me. That's probably the best thank you or the best thing, and they always would tell me, you know what, your room was fun and your room was safe.